What's up guys? In today's video, I have a brand new release. This is the LightMe TV backlight kit, referred to as the Fantasy 3. This is an upgrade from my Neo 2.0 that I've got set up with the TV just there behind me. I'm going to set this up, give you an unboxing and showcase how it performs with a demo video and also with my PlayStation 5, because this is now referred to as the world's first HDMI 2.1 light sync box that also supports 8K. Tons of features on this and I'm really excited to take my gaming to the next level with my TV back there. Let's go ahead and unbox this, run through some of the specifications, set it up and showcase to you guys how it performs. Now just before I unbox this, let's take a look at the key information and specifications. You can see there it's an evolution for gaming. This actually supports 8K at 60 Hz, which I think is absolutely great. If you do have gaming and you do have a TV that supports this, this will be a game changer. I'm going to showcase a demo gameplay by playing something at 4K 120Hz, which is the ultimate fast refresh rate for high-end next-gen gaming. But not only that, this differs from the previous model because this actually has 72 LEDs per meter, which is 50% more than the previous model. So not only is that the highest number of LEDs in a TV backlight strip in the industry, but this also will result in a lot brighter and better lighting for syncing with your TV. So let's open up the box. So you have yourself the user manual. Plenty of information about how to get this up and running. This is the HDMI sync box itself. This does have an upgraded design and I'll talk through the design in a second once we finish unboxing. You have yourself the plug and the adapter. You have a HDMI to HDMI cable. You've got some clips and screws that you can mount to the back of your TV to mount the actual backlight LED strip. So this is the LED backlight strip. You can see that this is more of a conventional design that you expect from LED light strips. I have plenty of LED light strips around my house. These are the LEDs that you can see on the actual light strip itself. It's very thin and very easy to connect because they do have a 3M sticker along the entire route. Just as a comparison, these are the previous Neo 2 LED light strips and you can see the difference. This one is more heavy duty, more bulky and has a lot less LED lights in there. This is a lot thinner, a lot lighter and more easier to actually connect to any TV. You can get this in various different models for the TV size that you have. So it goes from up to 55 inches all the way up to 90 inches. So depending on the size of your TV, you can order the correct size light strip. So let's take a look at the actual sync box itself. This is a nice upgraded design. You can see there's a power button with a switch button there. You've got some LED indicators along the bottom there. So the first one is your Wi-Fi signal. Then you have the left and right channels. And then you have one for all of the four different HDMI ports. In terms of the ports, these are all HDMI 2.1 ports. So they have been upgraded. You have a TV out that you need to connect with the HDMI cable there. Then you have the power input there. So you've got two ports on the side. The one that you will connect the LED light strip to is the one on the left, which is USB-C. You also have a micro USB port on the right hand side for the TV connection via USB. And just as a comparison, this is my Neo 2.0, which I've been using up until now. Massive difference, a lot of features have been upgraded. And even if you just compare the ports on the back themselves, the Neo 2 only had one HDMI output there that you can connect to your PS5 or maybe to an external HDMI drive but this one actually has four, which allows you to switch between the different HDMI ports using the button on the front of this and gives you that flexibility just to have a lot more connections to your TV. And finally, just one thing I wanted to mention, I get this question asked quite often when I review devices like this. You cannot sync your TV natively with a sync box to output the colors to the light strip. What you need to do is have an external HDMI source connected to this. So if you're thinking about watching your internal TV apps like Netflix, Disney+, Plus, Amazon Prime, etc. using this box, that won't be capable to do. What you would have to do is connect something like an Apple TV, a Fire Stick, a Chromecast, those types of devices via HDMI onto this. Then you'll be able to actually sync up the lights to the light strip on the back of your TV. So that's not the purpose of this, but I'm really excited to try this out, especially with my PS5, because that's what I've been using my LightMe Neo HD box previously for, for a very long time. 
And with this upgrade, I'm gonna take it even further, get much brighter lighting experience as well, and test that out very shortly. So let's go ahead and then set up the LED light strips to the TV there and see how this performs. Okay, so I have the light strip now connected to the back of the TV. This is the one in 55 inch, but you can also get various different models for different TV sizes. So you can go up to 65, 75 inches, take a look at their website to see the packages that are available. So my ports are on the left hand side of the TV. So you just need to make sure you set up the sync box so that it aligns to whichever side you have ports so that the HDMI is very easily connected. So you can see on the corners as well, it comes with these tiny little straps to tidy up the corner wires so it doesn't stick out from the sides of the TV. And I've done that on all sides. So now I am ready to go and connect it. I will turn it on. So the lights are now starting up and it will go into pairing mode the first time as well. Then you can connect it very easily to the app and I'll showcase the app in a second. Taking a look at the HDMI sync box, so it's very simple, you can see the Wi-Fi light there is blinking, so it goes into pairing. But because I have already paired this to my phone, it's now a solid white light. If you at any point want to go into pairing it again, you just hold down the power button for about 10 seconds and the Wi-Fi light will start blinking. You also have the HDMI switch button there. As you can see, you have four HDMI ports, so you can have four different devices connected to this at any one time. And if you wanted to switch between those devices, you can simply press that button or use the app. So I have my PS5 connected there for HDMI 1 and my Apple TV for HDMI 2. So I'll showcase me playing some games and also showing some videos on my Apple TV. So it's a very simple setup and I'll be going through the Light Me Home app now just to show you how the lights work with the app connection. Okay, so now that I have everything set up, you can see that the lights are now syncing with everything that you're seeing on the screen. I'm currently using Apple TV, and I just really wanted to quickly showcase everything through the app and how that works. So as you can see here, you have your brightness slider there on the middle. Underneath, you can set the degree of the diffusion of the colored lights on the back as well. I've got it set to video mode. In the middle, you can also set it to recreation and game, depending on what you're actually watching or playing on the TV. Right on the bottom, you have three different tabs. I'm currently on the video tab. You can switch over to music and select different music scenes. And then when I go over to the last one, which is scene, this is going to really showcase and illuminate what you can do with the lights on the back. So if I select that first scene called rainbow, you can see it will illuminate very bright in all of the different colors of the rainbow in a nice slow gradient fashion. Various different scenes that you can play around with. Let's take a look at fire. Kind of like a nice burning fireplace behind the TV as well. You can also set it to read mode if you just want a bright light which you can dim down a little bit when you're maybe watching something light or maybe you want to read a book at the same time of having something on the TV. Then that's something you can also do. Firework. This will spark different lights, different colors behind as if they are some fireworks. If you go to star, again, when it is very dark at nighttime, this will give you more of an aurora kind of feel. And there's plenty of other scenes that you can also go through. When you go and select pure, for example, at the bottom right, when you swipe up, you get the option for a color wheel. If you select that, you can light this up to any specific color. So if I go to maybe red, you can see how bright that is. You've got some presets there, blue, green, and yellow but you can also customize and change it to whatever you like with the little wheel at the bottom. So plenty of nice functionalities with the app, and this is also compatible with Google Assistant and Amazon Alexa as well. So you can ask it to turn on and off the lights and various different scene commands as well, which I think is really great. Let's go ahead and play back a demo video to showcase the scene syncing with the video using the HDMI 3 on Apple TV and see how it performs with a example video that I'm gonna showcase as more of a cinematic kind of movie experience. Okay, so in this demo, I'm actually showcasing the TV light strip against a gray wall. Just remember that if you do have a white wall behind you, the lights will be illuminated even more. But those that do have darker walls, maybe wallpapers, this is a very great showcase to show how bright these LEDs actually are and how good they do look in maybe all different types of background scenarios. So let's go ahead and play this demo video from YouTube. But the main showcase here is to look at all of the vibrant colors and see how this performs with the lights reflecting back onto the wall behind the TV. 
So let's go ahead and play the video. Now, as you saw from that demo, the colors were very smooth, bright enough to be very soft and fluid and just really give you that immersive experience. But I want to take it even further and fire up my PlayStation 5, put a 4K game on at 120 hertz, just to show you the fast paced action and how immersive these lights can feel when you do use this for your next gen gaming console. So let's go ahead and see how that performs. Okay, so I have my PS5 fired up. I've got the resolution set to 4K, 120Hz output is automatic, so I'm going to be loading a game that does utilize this, and let's go ahead and see how the colors look on the backlit LED. Now Astro's Playroom is one of those games that are very colorful, and it's a good showcase with LED backlit light strips like this. You can see as well the variety of different colors as I do move around this plaza. Now this is 4K 60 frames per second. But when I do switch over, you'll see when I move over to a game that is 120 hertz frames per second, how smooth that also works. But let's just quickly showcase more of the colors with this gameplay. And with the frame rate, you can see how quickly things are moving in this game and how smooth the lights actually stay in sync. So that's a very nice thing to have, especially when you are going to set this up for next gen gaming, you want to get the best experience from it. Okay, one of the most popular games on the planet, this is Call of Duty Warzone 2. I've set the resolution to be 120 hertz, so let's go ahead, get into a gameplay and see how this performs. This is actually one of my favorite games to play and I play this quite often, so having the Neo light strips on the TV for this especially at 120 hertz, I can see, you know, it's moving very smoothly and it just makes your gaming experience that much better, especially if you don't have any LED light strips on the back of your TV, this makes a drastic difference. Not only will it be great for gaming like this, it's going to be perfect for watching movies, whether you set up your Apple TV or Fire Stick, to then maybe go in and watch content on Netflix, Disney+, Amazon Prime, etc. So that's it guys, I'm really pleased to upgrade to the Fantasy 3 kit and set this up for my PlayStation 5. I know for sure this is just going to enhance my gaming experience with having much smoother and brighter lighting behind the TV. Take a look at the description below, I've got a discount code listed down as well. So you can get a bit of a discount and an early bird offer if you do go ahead and check this kit out. It was just released. Any other questions you have about this, as always drop a comment down below. If you do like the look of the LED light strip and how this performs, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe. I have plenty of new videos out every week with cool tech gadgets like this. And I will catch you guys at the next one. Take care.